Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to be replacing a turbo uh, factory, factory turbo inlet pipe with a integrated engineering uh, turbo inlet pipe. The reason why I'm making this video is I have posted this a while ago, but apparently the video was corrupted. So I'm just making this video again um, as I'm going to be installing the turbo inlet pipe um, at the same time. So. Um, it's going to be a separate video, but that is the reason why I wanted to make this video again. Um, I did try to help a guy who had same one, um, but this part wasn't fitting in properly for his. Uh, I have a feeling his, uh, even when I was playing with the uh, like factory turbo inlet, his was very tight. So I have a feeling his turbo, the um, outlet might have been a little bit tighter than what mine or what other vehicle might have as a normal. So for this one, I'll put all the description on, uh, I'll put all the description down below on the description portion. But this is supposed to help the vehicle uh, suck air a lot more. And also this is supposed to help with the turbo uh, spooling a li little bit better. And also be able to, because you are sucking more air, you're going to be able to get the turbo moving better, which means you'll be able to make more power. But obviously, because it doesn't have a tune, that's not really the case. Um, so, uh, I will show you the factory one when we take it out. But the factory one, this part is the same, but around this area is definitely um, narrower. And also, this part is narrower than... Uh, this one for sure uh, if you're using the integrated engineering um, turbo inlet pipe you do have to get a different intake hose because the factory won't won't fit in here I think it, this is a three inch diameter uh, if I'm wrong I'll put the description right here uh, but you do have to get a different one to be able to make it work with your factory uh, intake box so for myself, I have the NST Performance um, intake hose that goes in here. It's made out of silicone, so it goes in here. Um, in, my, in my opinion, it works really good. It's not like brands like CTS Turbo or other brands where this part is still narrower than this one, so your factory one will fit. But if you do have the integrated engineering one, make sure the um, just to make sure you have another aftermarket intake hose that will fit to this because the factory won't will not fit okay so now we're in the spot what i'm going to be doing is just like we did for the turbo muffler delete i'm going to be taking this off so i don't like hurt the i don't accidentally break anything i'm just using this because i just had it laying around and then now we're going to get into the T30 that is between the uh, PCB hose and the other hose there. So right now I'm just using a Milwaukee ratchet. Uh, you don't have to use this. You can just use a standing or any kind of just manual ratchet. Now we got the T30 uh, bolt out. This bolt actually doesn't come out. Uh, if you force it, it will come out. It just have like a little o-ring on it turbo inlet out instead of taking the PCB hose off. Uh, PCB hose is pretty hard to take out. A lot of time you need more uh, more surface area to be able to um, pry it off. So what I like to do is take the turbo inlet off and then hold on with both of my hands and then be able to pull the PCB hose off. Now I have this integrated engineering turbo inlet. What we're going to be doing is installing the bracket. Um, there are two bolts. I believe it's a four millimeter uh, Allen key that you will need in order to be able to tighten down those two bolts to the turbo inlet. So just make sure when you're tightening those two bolts, um, just tighten it as hard as you can so it doesn't back out. So once you get the turbo inlet, um, those two bolts tightened, um, just make sure the O-ring on the turbo inlet is uh, seated properly so it's not going to cause any kind of air leak later on. I like to put the PCB valve after I install the turbo inlet 
as um, it gives a little bit more room so we'll put the turbo inlet so the circle part is going to be facing um, up the sky and then you want to be able to get the bottom and the top bottom in first and then top um, it should kind of slide in pretty easily um, you have quite a bit of room and then once that is in make sure you rotate it rotate the turbo inlet towards yourself and then once that is it um, put the T30 bolt back in um, tight and then after that put the PCB hose uh, back to the turbo inlet once you got the PCB hose uh, don't forget that connector that I took off because it's going to throw a code I'm sure if you don't plug it in so just plug that back in so as you can see I'm just wiggling the turbo inlet right now to make sure it's seated properly after um, putting the PCB hose and the um, BPV connector back on. What I'm going to be doing now is getting the 3 inch intake hose that I have from MST Performance and install that. And also don't forget the two clamps that you have to put on. What I like to do is put the intake hose when I'm putting the intake hose I like to put the turbo inlet portion first and then line up the intake box most of the most of the times um, the hose kind of line itself um, you don't really have to struggle putting it on um, what I'm doing is I'm just wiggling the hose uh, so I can get the hose to sit all the way to the back um, in case there is high pressure, the hose isn't going to pop off. Same thing for the intake box. I'm just doing my best to get the um, clamp and the hose setting all the way so there's no gap. Uh, to tighten the hose clamp, you want it tight but not too tight where the plastic is going to break off. Uh, plastic meaning the intake box. So just be careful with that part. So for the rear clamp, I tried to use the Milwaukee electric ratchet, but I didn't have enough space. So what I'm doing is just using my Stanley ratchet that I have, which makes things a little bit easier. Actually, the clamp was hitting on one of the connector in the back, so it wasn't sitting all the way, and that is why you can see that I'm just using like a um, not not a flathead, but what I was using is um, Allen wrench that I just had on the side. Um, I didn't want to use a flathead as I didn't want to puncture the hose, so. I'm just pushing little by little with the al um, end of the Allen wrench to push the clamp all the way down so it's setting properly. So when I clamp it down, it's going to be clamping uh, properly. Okay, so we were able to finish the uh, we were able to finish the turbo inlet pipe install. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, um, give a like and subscribe to this channel, and also comment on what I should do for next time. And you guys have a good day.